Hi, welcome to this part of my review featuring the Mythic Game Master Emulator 2nd Edition. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to take a look at the big example, and I'm going to give you my final thoughts on this edition of Mythic Game Master Emulator. Let's start with the big example. Mechanically speaking, this is the best example in the entire book. It displays how you can use so many things about Mythic Game Master Emulator 2nd Edition without overwhelming yourself. So you can see the framing of the first scene and the framing of many other scenes overall using the fate chart and the meanings tables. You can see the resolution of various surprises, unexpected things using all of the elements within Mythic, the core elements and the optional ones as well. As you can see, I am keeping things spoiler free so that you can appreciate how the scenario unfolds. You can also see the way that interpretations are handled, especially when it comes to player interpretation and the context. You can also see the organization of the adventure lists, the adventure journal, as well as discovering meaning, and the way that the chaos factor goes up and down depending on what happens during this scenario. Mechanically speaking, this big example gives you valuable lessons when it comes to how to use the mechanics in Mythic and any other Game Master emulator. It's all about employing the tools that you need, not more, not less. And at the end of the book, you have a very useful rules summary, and you have all of the tables in a single spot, so this is quite handy, you just need to get to the end of the book. Once you are done reading it, that is, when you are playing the session, or running it rather, you go to this end section and you will find everything that you need right here. So what do I think about the Mythic Game Master Emulator 2nd Edition? I think that with this edition, Mythic re-emerges like a phoenix. The first edition was good, but because it was used as inspiration by many other newer Game Master emulators, one of them being my favorite, the Solo Adventuring Toolkit. Mythic First Edition fell a bit behind when it comes to further nuances, mechanics, more advanced ways on how to handle various situations, but this second edition fixes all of that. And I think many will consider this Mythic Game Master Emulator Second Edition the best solo tool out there, without exception. Now, some of you could be thinking, which one is better, the Mythic Game Master Emulator 2nd Edition or the Solo Adventuring Toolkit? Putting aside the huge caveat that the Solo Adventuring Toolkit is based almost completely on Mythic Game Master Emulator, there are some things that each emulator does better than the other. But just let me say out front, I think that for the beginner solo role player that still wants a robust product, in the form of a book that contains everything. Definitely the Mythic Game Master Emulator 2nd Edition is better because it is not that big and it has a more general approach, while the Solo Adventuring Toolkit is a bit more specific. I would consider the Solo Adventuring Toolkit to be a bit more geared towards more advanced solo role players. That is, if you are a beginner, you could still just use the beginning section of the Solo Adventuring Toolkit but then you would leave all of those other hundreds of pages without being used during the session. But Mythic solves that issue being only 230 pages. There's always something within all of those pages that you can use in your current session. So when it comes to Mythic, I think without noticing, I already gave you these stronger points. But when it comes to the Flextail Solo Adventuring Toolkit, it is more focused on the quest frameworks, more specific oracles taking into account greater mastery upon your RPG system of choice. But when it comes to Mythic Game Master Emulator 2nd Edition, it is definitely more beginner friendly, with a broader range of meaning elements when it comes to the meaning stables, and focusing more on possibilities rather than a specific process. Because the Flextail Solo Adventuring Toolkit works better with more precise or particular methodologies that you develop with experience. But Mythic gets you started right away because of its general approach. So my highest recommendation, 
definitely get Mythic Game Master Emulator 2nd Edition. Like I said, many are going to be considering this as the ultimate Game Master Emulator of choice. Thank you for watching this review, and thank you for your likes and your comments. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel, the information on how to do that will be in the description below. This has been Abraham El Jaguar, a professional game master. If you want me to run a game for you, please check out the pinned comment below. And remember, it is better to roleplay and fail in character than not to roleplay and fail as a player. So when you use Mythic, don't go K -k can I see can I see inside of the cabin? No no no. I approach the window of the cabin and look through it. And then you use all of those tables, all of those meanings, the yes and no, you take the chaos factor into consideration, etc. Once again, thank you and see you later.